Yo, what's going on, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Evan, and today we're hopping to the episode of Madden 22's No Money Spent, you guys. Now, uh, obviously, we're going to be getting another free uh, NAT 88 overall ultimate kickoff player. So far, this promo has been an absolute W, so obviously, we will be going ahead and hopping into that. I also have a couple of my weekend league packs to open, so basically, we just have a, a good chunk of packs to go ahead and get into. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, open those babies up. Alrighty guys, so heading on down to my unopened packs. Now one thing is my uh, uh, my weekend league rewards are not as good as they usually are. I did not, I had like no time to play the game this weekend. I only played 13 games, but I went 10 and 3. So I low key balled out in the games that I did play. Like 10 and 3 is insane. I was on pace for like legend legend tier. So I don't know. I was definitely cooking and we were, we were having a heck of a weekend. But like I said, I just honestly had zero time to play the game, but it is what it is. So. We don't have a ton of packs. I mean, it is, it's honestly just one less pack than um, what I, we usually get. As we do get a couple goals there, so not too bad of that out of the Hail Mary pack. But onto the midfields. Now, if I'm being completely honest, you guys, I am still gonna, I'm trying to petition for these quick sells to come back because honestly, these packs, like, they're just, they're not good. Like, legitimately, they, they really aren't all that good. Surprisingly, that, 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 uh, that, that midfield pack was honestly pretty decent as we're gonna open up this one with a power up. LT, I'm sure that's got to go for something. Dwayne Haskins, and a couple silvers, and a Landon Dickerson to end it off. And then hopping into this red zone pack. But the main thing as to why I want quick sells is, especially because, like, once you get on later in the year, these packs are, like, not worth it at all. Because if you're pulling, like, these kind of cards, like, they're just not worth it. Like, if I don't get a freaking elite, see, that, like, that, that's legit my point right there. Like, I didn't get a single elite, and I played 13 games, and I won 10 of them. I got 50k and a bunch of goals. Like, that's just my overall thing as to where I'm like, we need these quick sell values back. But, like I said, we do have um, all, uh, another free 88 overall. Now, if you guys remember, my last pick was indeed um, Corey Lindsley. I'll quickly go ahead and obviously scroll through all these. Now, it's honest. Uh, I know it might be a little bit of a shocker. I mean, not, not a shocker, but you guys might not understand it. It's another offensive line. I just got to go ahead and find him. Kevin Zeitler, right? Mm, yeah. You know what? I'm pretty sure we get another one, but this one is going to be Kevin Zeitler. Now, I'm basically just completely <laughs> destroying that the uh, the one episode I had where I just like completely upgraded my offensive line because <laughs> we're getting another free 88 overall lineman, and that actually boosts our overall up to 86, so that's obviously awesome. But I'll go ahead and go over and check out the squad now. If you guys did not see the last episode when I got Corey Lindsley. Just, I guess the main reason that I'm getting linemen from these packs is because I don't really like the skill position players. Like, I don't, I, I mean, I could take a guy like Stafford, but like I said, I'm giving Fields at least the rest of this season, so I don't feel like there's a point. Um, I'll go ahead and remove Brandon Brooks. And then again, I'll go ahead and, like, sell Brandon Brooks and his power up. Same thing I did with Rodney Hudson when I got Corey Lindsley. But the main thing is, like, there wasn't any impressive, like, wide receiver ones for me. I don't need corners. Um, I don't need. I don't even know if there was running backs. If there is, I have Saquon. So like, there really wasn't many positions that I need. So I said, you know what? I'll take advantage of this. Let's go ahead and make my line completely like NAT and fill those positions. But obviously, you guys have had the opportunity to go ahead and look at the offense. So there's that, you guys. Now over to the defense. This is obviously what the defense is looking looking like. The biggest thing was we uh, went ahead and got Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald the last episode. Um, so yeah, you guys. That is the squad, and with that, uh, we're going to hop into some head-to-head -head seasons. As always, you guys, if you do enjoy my content, if you guys can go ahead and go ahead down below and subscribe, it obviously means a lot to me. Uh, the last episode, we got, like, at least, like, seven or eight subs, and that that's easily been the best, like, it's been the best video sub-wise. So hopefully, we guys, we can go ahead and keep that up, but let's hopefully go ahead and get another win in season two not 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 what i said last but i don't even know what i said but uh, let, let's just go ahead and get into the game you guys hopping into the game you guys we are on the road in pittsburgh that is obviously our squad my opponent's team all right okay it's definitely gonna be a challenge i'm, I'm honestly pumped up for this man the, the only bad thing about uh my, my opponents having to start out on defense they are gonna have to go up against the bomb play and oh my god yeah we definitely have it just please put the thing on the money as always it is from justin field can Jamar Chase escape Joe Hayden? He cannot, but he has 43 yards and a first down. Well, uh, I had a little bit of a dumb move there on uh, second down. We went ahead and got sacked, so now it is third and 20. Honestly, I just kind of want something over the middle. 
Nothing was really open. Maybe CD, you know what? We're gonna, uh, we're gonna get sacked. Nice. I mean, I know that I'm probably not gonna convert this, but I don't know. I just feel kind of somewhat in no man's land. And we just really have nothing open. I just gotta, like, force it. If I get picked off, whatever. At least I would have wished you caught that, because now we kind of have bad field position. Third down and eight here for the defense. He, my opponent is at my 41 yard line, so hopefully the defense can, like, get the stop, because he, he could potentially be in field goal range. I mean, obviously this is a little bit long, but I don't know. He's actually gonna go with the out route, and Devin White gets the interception. Please, house call this. Oh no, Lance Allworth is chasing him down. Devin White down the sideline. Lance Allworth misses the tackle, and Devin White is gonna have himself a pick six. My opponent now up against the wall with another third down and seven. He's in gun bunch. I'm kind of worried of, of a potential flat route. That's exactly what he does. And we have the middle completely guarded. He goes to the flat with Kittle and goes out of bounds short of the first down. Can the defense make another huge play? It is now fourth down and six starting the second quarter. I'm coming out in a complete blitz cover zero. We're going to be using Devin White. Hopefully he can make another play like he did on that last third down. And honestly, he doesn't really have much open. He's bagged. Someone gets to the quarterback. And he broke away at the last second. He got a touchdown out of that. Honestly, I definitely thought that uh, I uh, that, 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 that I had him bagged up. But apparently not. He kind of got loose at the last second. We're going to get it to CeeDee Lamb over the middle. And he's going to pick up a first down. Just about to hit the two-minute warning here. But I, I'm, I am going to get a playoff. Wow, I definitely had that flat wide open. But you know what? I'll take CeeDee Lamb for a near first. Fourth and inches. I know that this is a potentially debatable choice here, but Stefan Diggs, you cannot put this man ag against man coverage. Diggsy diving for the pylon in a touchdown. Huge conversion on fourth down. It looks like uh, my, my opponent is starting to run a little bit more of some gun bunch. He ran it last play, and I, he, I think he ran it at least once or twice in the last possession, so we might be dealing with this for the rest of the ballgame. Not entirely sure, though. If he throws that slant, I was going to say, that would have been a risky move. I'm surprised they did not get um, any type of penalty, but, I mean, he picks up a huge game nonetheless. 50 seconds to go here in the first half. Obviously, he's at my 40-yard line, probably nearly in field goal range. He's got three timeouts. Just Hopefully, the defense doesn't surrender a touchdown. He's probably actually going to throw that flat route. Yep, called it. Um, LT making moves, and he's down to the 20. How was that open? <sighs> well, I mean, hey, uh, what a freaking way to start the second half off. He just hits me with an absolute bomb play. We have Saquon wide open out of the backfield. I wanted to spin, but I thought I had to step on him. But Saquon gets a huge game. Well, third down and seven here. Obviously, we want the first down, but I got to be smart, and, my, and I might have to end up taking my three. But CeeDee Lamb over the middle. He's wide open. He's got a shot at the end zone. He's going to get taken down at the three-yard line, but a huge conversion. First and goal from the three-yard line. We are handing this rock off to Saquon Barton. He's going to stretch his way in for a touchdown, and he's going to tie this ball game up. A few moments later... Oh my god. I'm now down. So he can chew the freaking... He's gonna chew the clock now. Man, missing that PAT, I can guarantee you will end up haunting me. As once again, he's gonna give it off to LT. And he's gonna pick up back-to-back -back first downs. This defense is gonna have to step up. He's probably gonna actually end up throwing something in the flats. As that's exactly what he does. We're definitely in, in some trouble. This is, this is probably the game right here. Third down and nine. We need the defense to step up. He's actually going to throw a corner out. Oh my god, did we get lucky or what? Well, here we go. Fourth down to nine. This is officially ball game. If we don't get the stop. Oh, he's got the... He had... I literally had a curl flat there. Third down and five. The defense needs to find a way to force a field goal to keep us in the game. And my man, Kurt, is just not there. He gets in the end zone. Not... I mean, we're not only going to have to find a way to get in the end zone, but we're going to have to now get a two-point conversion unless, like, he tries to end it. Like, right now. I'm not even going to lie to you. This is a super freaking smart play. Like, legit. The defense needs to make a play. Someone, like, please get pressure. He's going to actually force it. Jalen Ramsey picks it off. This is huge if you can house call this. Jalen, I need you to get home. Jalen Ramsey, oh my god. 
This is huge. This is huge, Jalen. That is a absolutely clutch play. Down five. Touchdown now wins the ball game. Honestly, I mean, we, we have to find a way to get in the end zone for sure, obviously, but... I just don't want my opponent to have a lot of time as Kyle Pitts on that slant. He is he is open, and it's a huge first down. We still have the one timeout. We got just about a minute remaining. I might have to start working the sidelines here shortly, but as for now, I'm going to try and take stuff over the middle. Kyle Pitts once again open down the sideline. Huge gain down to the 32. Now, this is the part where I just cannot be stupid as... Okay, we have Saquon over the middle. Please make a move on Sean Taylor. He's gonna Saquon's gonna go ahead, pick up the first. I'm gonna use my final timeout here. The one thing that I do need to be aware of is I cannot score this like extremely fast. Okay, do not be dumb here. We're just gonna throw it away. Oh my god. Oh, that is that's that's bad. I literally said do, like just do, don't be dumb, and then I throw intentional grounding. I was trying to get out the ball out, and it ended up costing a big time. You know what? We have lots of room to run. Oh my god. Oh, why did I do that? Well, I should have just went hurry up. Okay, here we go. Well, uh, my, my freaking idiotic mistake of spiking it. It's putting us in a bad position here. 22 seconds remaining. We have to get a first down to extend this ball game. Stephon Diggs! <laughs> and Fields threw an absolutely awful pass. And we're going to lose the ball game. Honestly, the, the freaking... The, the intentional grounding is probably what cost me the game. I mean, obviously, just the, the spiking it on third down was also stupid, but the intentional grounding set me back big time. But it is what it is. It was a tough, close ball game. Um, but, hey, it was a good game. It was, like, honestly, one of the, like, the probably the best game we've probably had on this series to this point. It was, like, down to the wire. Unfortunately, we could not pull it out. But 2-2 two two on the season. We're going to have to start picking it up just a tad if we want to go ahead and make it back to the playoffs. Um, but yeah, with that, you guys, if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to go ahead down below and subscribe. Uh, while you're at it, smash that like button and hit that bell notification to stay notified for all future No Base Bet episodes. With that being said, guys, it's been your boy and I'm out. Peace out, you guys.